Hi, in this video, I'll share with you creative ideas for title design in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The title design you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? You can replace this picture with any picture of your choice and that will give the audience an idea of the content of your presentation. Let me show you how to create this beautiful title design from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Rectangles, I'm going to pick up this shape called as Rectangle. Hold the Shift button down as I draw a square. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to place this right next to the previous square. And I'm going to make another copy of this by holding the control button down and clicking and dragging it to its new location, which is right next to this square. I'm going to select both of them together. Go to shape outline and say no outline. And let me go to format, merge shapes and union. Now I have a rectangle and a square next to each other. Let me remove the shape outline for this one as well. Now I'm going to use these two shapes to form a random design. So I'm going to select this, hold the control button, click and drag it to its new location. And I'm going to take this one and place it here. So I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag it to its new location. The whole idea is to create some kind of an interesting pattern here. I'm going to select this, press control D to create a duplicate and I'm going to rotate it so let us go to home, arrange, rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees and I'm going to place it here so that it corresponds with the right edge and it is and it leaves a slight bit of gap like the way that it is seen everywhere else. And I'm going to place uh, this square here. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. It is just a matter of playing with the different shapes to create a nice and interesting pattern. And maybe we can even make a copy of this square and place it to the right. Now, when you do it, you make sure that there is enough amount of attention given so that there is proper alignment and the spaces are proper. Now that this is done, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group the entire uh, set of elements here. Then I'm going to fill this with the picture of my choice. I'm going to right click, go to format shape, go to picture or texture fill, go to file, and I'm going to choose a different picture, um, say something like this, and I'm going to say insert. And you can see that there is a beautiful picture which is inserted all across the various shapes that we have created and grouped together. And this is one of the properties that I want you to remember that when you group a few elements together and then fill the group with picture, then the picture fills for the entire group and not for the individual shapes. And this allows us to create some very interesting patterns for our title design. Now with this done, I'm going to place this somewhere close to the left side and I'm just going to create this uh, title and name of the presenter here. So I'm going to select both of these elements, Control C, which is the shortcut for copy, and then I'm going to place it here. And naturally, you are not able to see this because the background is white. So we need to make the background to be uh, slightly darker. So let us right click, go to format background. So that is what is seen here. And maybe I can always uh, fill it with a solid fill, maybe something like this blue color. I leave it to you and your imagination to create the kind of pattern you want. You can always um, fill it with any pattern you like or any kind of a gradient fill, it is completely up to you. And the final result that you get looks like this and it's absolutely breathtaking. Now you can give your audience a hint of what is going to come in the presentation by choosing a different picture, which is relevant to the subject of your presentation. I hope you liked this beautiful idea of how to create an interesting and creative title design for your presentations. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our complete trainers bundle, where we have taken a similar idea and created variations of title design. The first example is this one, which is 
uh, which shows manufacturing and logistics related presentation title. You can see that we have used the pictures which are all related to manufacturing and logistics to give the audience a flavor for the kind of presentation they are going to uh, listen to. Then here is a medical presentation with the title design matching uh, the title here. And here is an animated version of the title design. Take a look at how we use the same idea but in a different way where we show the title and the keywords. The final example is this one where we show a beautiful picture to give the mood for the presentation. Then on a click the picture zooms in and then we talk about the title of the presentation, the contact details of uh, the presenter and things like that. So those are some of the examples of how to take forward the idea that I taught you of creating an elegant design using different auto shapes, grouping them together and then filling them with the picture of your choice. All these examples that I had shown you are taken from our Complete Trainers Bundle. To give you a quick snapshot of Complete Trainers Bundle, the bundle is a collection of 4022 premium PowerPoint templates that are designed to help trainers and course creators create professional quality training slides in a matter of minutes. Whether you want to visualize flows, components, concepts and metaphors, cause and effect, number slides and infographics, models and frameworks, timelines and roadmaps, any type of slide type you can imagine for your training presentations, they are all available ready-made in our Complete Trainers Bundle. You can find more details about Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to Complete Trainers Bundle in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, you will love the content of this email course. I'll see you inside the email course.